Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verify business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. Use space, use space, ADB space. Yeah, for advanced session, right? Again, I will take uh, installation. Don't worry, right? I will help you. No, no part HTK in the sense, right? You need to provide the part of that where it is HTK, not this one, right? Stop, not copy as it is. Okay. Just now you downloaded your HTK, right? Um. Not the phone. Sir, my emulator looks different than hers. Uh, why is that? That is your uh, device is different. Probably target is different. See, where, where you install it, just no H2K. Um, wait, um, that one. See, uh, not this one, right? Just now you downloaded, just now I sent one file, right? Where you saved that? Uh, that one I still haven't saved that. Please, please, please. 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 Please, what emulators we have to fix, what we, what we have to check, or do we have to do as a tester? From my understanding, the tester has to do. Without knowing this, right, how will you do your testing? Right, testing logically. Right, check that, go to downloads, go to the... Downloads, so... Downloads folder, left, where you... On left side. Oh, showing folder. Lavanya, showing folder. Minimize on left. This one? Minimize this. No, minimize again. The showing folder. Click this one. Yeah, click that. Yes. Now you can copy this one. This is the part of your folder. Like top, you can see, right? This copy one. that. No, no. You first you copy that. You can append your uh, APK part there. Now you delete this part APK and all. Oh, see. Don't click and enter. Don't click and enter. Slash. Slash. And then what is the name of that APK? Check that. HTK APP dot. Check that. Now you say that. HTK APP dot APK. You type that. H. After H. Two. A. APP dot APK. Now click and enter. Click on enter. Um, wait a minute. That one, see, within bracket one and everything is there, right? I didn't do that one. No, no, that is not required. That is not required. Uh, but why it's not coming then? You have to do cd dot dot or you have to, the path is not right now, right? It is under C user Lavanya downloads, but it is trying to install from Android platform tools, I guess. Just no, 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 first you need, 
no 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 that is correct only that is correct only that's okay i don't have control that is the problem my problem is i don't have control so that right i can finish it off in uh, 5 to 10 minutes adv install in the path it is not the path is not given right sir adv installed and then you have to give that ah, right right adv install you have to give so oh, they said cd yeah see i said right adv install adv you want me to write yes adv install or oh, cd before that okay, don't, don't put cd uh, only adv install if you okay. have to, uh, adv install ADB. and then uh, paste adv that. install and paste that. click ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho first that is adv install means it will uh, run that okay again type it adv install give the path of your h2k h2k file now you have to uh, right click and now paste it give a space and then paste it no not paste we have to write it not wrong at all they made me do cd <laughs> see, see see adb install and take the path and give the path there okay mm. right here right to see lakshmi is giving this path okay just give the path right She should be capital. Just give that path. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He writes some. Yeah. Madhavi also is giving one path. Just copy this. She should be. Uh, just copy this. Sir. What? What? That one. The see this one copy. See copy this path. Okay. Don't type. Don't type anyone, please. See Suman also. Uh, right here. You can I see right. It is also on the clipboard. No. So just right click and paste. It will come. No, it will not work. It will not work. Now you can take this path. Okay. This one. You can. Yeah, I just pinged. You just ping. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For everyone, yeah, everyone, right? Invite the host. Okay. <laughs> Let me complete this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Enter. Enter. Ah, finally. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, finally it's running, but the problem is, uh, yeah, it's not running. DVD is not running. Okay, open your uh, this one emulator. Emulator, it's so loaded. Take HP is available not there, right? Um, yeah, you can see here. Yeah, you can see here HP K infosys. HP K infosys. Yeah. You can see right bottom. So this is the way to install the app. Anyway, right? I will give the steps how to install it. Don't worry. Here, right? What you need to do is don't talk anyone, right? Let me give the steps uh, step by step. Right? First, what you need to do is first you need to install Java. See, please, please, uh, uh, right? Give your attention. Install Java. Once uh, Java is installed, install Android SDK. In install Android SDK. Okay. First, install your Java. Then you are install your Android. <laughs> see i cannot type that steps and all right see install java then install your android sdk once sdk is installed go to that sdk manager there you can install your required packages whatever you want once the packages are installed right in the sdk manager itself you are having a option called tools go to the tools and click on your android uh, virtual device manager then it will open up a window there what you can do is click on new button once you click on the new button you can give the emulator name and then you can select the target that means which kind of target you want to emulate it after that actually right why i am doing all these thing means that i need i need to have some memory card to install my app 
where you are installing the app to install the app i need to install my sd card to install the sd card what i can do is i need to use this command let me ping you that command this command will use to mr prasad can you can you go slowly slowly so we can write also the steps okay so mr prasad uh, please uh, install android after that see you will get this video right mr prasad can you type in in a notepad and uh, you know just share it with us that would be good okay fine you know how to install the app and stuff like that okay fine i'm giving the steps okay thank you install java install java right what is it install java Indra, uh, install android sdk right then click on sdk manager sdk manager in the android sdk folder yeah i will ping you like uh, i don't need to sh- uh, see my screen right i'll ping you whatever i'm writing click on that uh, sdk manager in the android sdk folder then select the appropriate i will ping you in the chat window one second select the appropriate packages to install right once this is done then tool menu in sdk manager go to tools menu and manage avd now click on new in the avd manager so don't type any one right i am thinking here so click on new on this uh, avd manager once you click on on this uh, new what you can do then select the target select the target target is nothing but what kind of uh, device you want to emulate that is nothing but what kind of don't type anyone okay what kind of uh, emulator you want to target so once this is done then what i will do i wanted to select the sd card in the sd card also what we will do select radio option as create sd card how to create the sd card i will give this uh, method this is how to create the sd card so this is the sd card once sd card is created once it is created then what you can do is select the file option that means select the sd card you can see in the emulator file option and browse the created sd card that means what is the sd card i created i created don't type please don't type for 2 uh, minutes don't type don't type for few minutes select sd card file option and browse the created sd card just now then click on create create button now what you can do it will come in the avd manager 
select the select the created emulator and click on start don't don't type please select the click on button now one pop up will open pop up opens then click on launch click on launch button then emulator open this is how emulators open once emulator is open once emulator is open then you can use this uh, command to install application that means adb install path of apk that's it so this is the process once i install my app right this is the steps you can get it the you can take the steps right fine all the steps i think you now so many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are you will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com on our website h2kinfosys.com you will also find more detailed information on who we are the courses that we offer what each course covers Also if you're interested in a demo program please register on our home page on the left hand side just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class The demo class is absolutely free experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information If you still have more questions please feel free to call us Call us at 770 777 This is a United States number If you're calling from the UK call us at 020 337 One seven six one five. You can also email us at training at h two k infosys dot com or h two k infosys at gmail dot com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.